Hello everyone. Welcome to Corinth Tech Hub. Today I'm going to talk about the basics of Microsoft Excel. This is the first tutorial on Microsoft Excel basics and I will talk about how to use a format painter. Don't forget to subscribe and you will see more and more videos. I have two cells, this one with 2600.00% which is bold, italicized, has a blue background, thick double borders, the contents of the cell has a number which is in percentage and a comma. So this cell is formatted. The second cell only has a number which is 78 and is not formatted. So L1 to apply the same format to the number 78. You can either choose to select 78 then start to apply the changes one by one, the bold, italics, background color and so forth. But I'll want to use a format painter so this is how well I'm going to do it. I will select this formatted cell, then go on the clipboard and click on format painter. When I'll click on format painter the cursor will change and turns into a brush. Then L will select the unformatted value and see what happens to this number. Now these two numbers have the same format, the numbers did not change, only the format is copied. Here is another scenario. I have a list of cities and the measurements of rainfall in those cities in milliliters for January, February, March and April. The first three columns are formatted, but the last one for April is not formatted. Let's say we have been recording rainfall for the past three months with the same formatting, then we are now in April and we have entered our recordings, but there is no formatting. So L will select the column from which I'll want to copy the format. Then I'll click on Format Painter and click on the first cell and the whole column has been formatted. See what happens here. Now let us take a look at conditional formatting with Microsoft Office Excel. Now using conditional formatting, select all the data, then under the Home tab click on Conditional Formatting. And select Highlight Cells rules that are greater than 700 and highlight the cells with green and a dark green font. So the cells with rainfall higher than 700 will be highlighted in green. I can also select all the cells once again and highlight cells that are less than 500 with red and a dark red font. With this type of formatting you can actually see which areas and in which of the months received rainfall below 500 milliliters. You can copy this conditional formatting to the May column using a format painter. So L will select the column from which I'll want to copy the format. Then I'll click on Format Painter and click on the first cell and the whole column has been formatted. See what happens here. Here is another example of using a format painter with pictures. I have two pictures here, this one is formatted and has red dotted borders, the other one is not formatted and has no borders. So L1 to copy the format from the formatted picture to the not formatted picture. So L will select the picture from which L1 to copy the format. Then I'll click on Format Painter and click on the borders of this picture and the picture is now formatted. Then now both have red dotted borders. Thank you for listening. Let's meet in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.